Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us for another session of Kip's Course Highlights. Of course, the star of the show, Kip, he is here today hanging out. Um, you're with myself, Amy Conine. I am a math teacher here at the Keystone School. Uh, so today I wanted to talk about um, one of our elective courses that we have, so art and world cultures. Um, so it's one of our art electives that we do offer. Um, so we're going to kind of roll through it. If you have any questions, please comment. Um, like, share with somebody, maybe you're a Keystone student and you're wondering what electives we offer or what's something to take. Um, so this would be one of them. Um, so the course outline for this, um, you're, uh, you know, obviously you're going to talk about different artists, you know, in their work. Um, you're going to take a look at the art book on paper and in digital form, study basic principles and elements, um, critique not only um, their work, you're you have, might have an opportunity to uh, to create and critique your own work or others. It's you know a, a team a team class, so um, you know peer reviews things like that. So you might have an opportunity for those too. Um, so moving forward, it is a single semester uh, course, so that means one semester, and these are the topics that you will take a look at throughout that semester. So it's a lot of different time periods, a lot of different types of art, which is very interesting because it's from different parts of the world. Um, so um, from the previous section I just showed you, you know, you have to look at African art, American art, um, oceanic art. You even have prehistoric ancient art in here. So you're going to look at a bunch of different things, which I think is really cool just having that variety. So you can kind of see how it's evolved, what was special back in that time versus now, you know, and, um, you know, moving through those time periods. So um, I wanted to show you, there is a lab within the course I want you want to show you, but I also want to show you our course catalog as well. So give me just a second. I'm going to move through and get that open for you. Because um, I often don't highlight our course catalog, but we um, we offer a, a variety of, of courses in art and world cultures. Um, this is the page for it. You can see that you have the details of the course down here. You have the course outline, which again, is where I got my information, it's kind of cheating. Um, you know, if I'm you know, highlighting the course, I'd need that information, right? Um, so, but we do offer, which I think is interesting, elementary, middle, and we have high school, we have credit recovery and adult learning. So it's something worth looking if you're even in the middle grades and you're looking for maybe to do a homeschool option or a virtual option or do credit recovery, you know, maybe you're missing some high school credits, um, you know, you're missing like a math or a science or something. Like it's really worth taking a look at. So I wanted to make sure I show that to you uh, as it is online for really it's for anyone to view. Um, so for art and um, in world cultures, so if you go to the home of it, so I was already in here kind of, you know, poking around and stuff. Oh no, well, let me back in. All right, let me see what I can do. Um, sometimes my technology kind of goes a little crazy. So let me see if I can get back in here while we're chatting. Oh, there it is. So um, just like the typical Keystone courses for the middle and the high school, they all kind of look like this. You have your announcements on your landing page, uh, which is worth checking out because you never know what's there. There could be um, a school-wide event or just a course-wide event that's important. Um, you do have your course content in here, but you can also access it up here, which I always like to do. I like to use the, the top banner bar. Um, so once we get in here, it's going to take me right back to where I was earlier. Uh, but you can see all the units are laid out here. You do have a midterm exam. You will have a final exam. Um, even though it's just a one semester class. So then if you go in, this is where we're um, kind of taking a look at. So we have text questions, lab questions. This is where you'll submit the lab. We're going to go into the lab. Um, it says external tool because what happens when you jump in here, it tells you this is a link to take you to um, an outside resource. So if you're reading the directions, you're going to scroll down to where you find in the tower Mark Rothko. And then um, you're going to watch a video and then you're going to type responses that you will submit. So that link actually works for both of the um, both of the labs that are in here. So you have the darker side of light and you have in the tower um, and you do need to go in and try to find both. So um, I always like to do a search 
and so I don't have to scroll through everything. Um, I don't know if that's handy or lazy, but if you do control F, you can type in what you're looking for. Uh, but then you have this video, you would click on it, watch it, answer your questions, and you would do the same thing for this one. So the darker, do it. So control F, the darker, and then um, there's your video that you would need to take a look at. And then you would follow the questions. You do have a grading rubric. Um, so you're not just doing reading or having a computer talk at you. You, know, you are um, experiencing different pieces and parts of external tools that we use. Um, like this resource is, if you go all the way to the top, um, this is the National Gallery of Art. So it's, some, it's an outside resource that we can use that has a bunch of different things in here um, that you can check out. Um, it's not just for those two, but there's a bunch of different videos. You see it's a very long page. So you'll you'll have different external resources within the course that you can check out. Um, and a lot of our electives do that, which I think is really awesome. Um, so that's, that's just the lab I wanted to highlight for you. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, just for, you know, something a little different than, um, than what you would normally see in some of the courses. So I think this course highlights a little shorter than some of my other ones. Um, you know, this is only a semester course, but I think it's really cool. I've been poking around in it a little bit. Um, I do think it's very interesting. Um, so if it's something that you would like to take a look at, you know, either you're a Keystone student looking for an elective or, you know, maybe you're thinking about going the online route, whatever your situation is, give us a call or check out our website. Um, we have the course catalog is online, but we would be more than happy to answer your questions, um, whatever they may be. Um, they are very helpful um, over at the, the, the Keystone, the Keystone line. Um, if you're a current student, feel free to reach out to your current teachers and see if um, they have information or your student success advisors or even guidance. I mean, reach out to really anyone. Everyone's very helpful. Um, but as always, like, comment or share. I know these course highlights, sometimes they're they're short, sometimes they're long. Hopefully um, I answered some of those questions that you maybe you have. Um, but I hope you have a wonderful day. You know, we're getting to the end of summer. So get outside, do something fun, um, enjoy that sunshine. Have a great day. Bye.